O 十七十八題咧都係講緊蒸騰作用嘅，咁啊呢個實驗啦，就想去量度下一個蒸騰。作用嘅速度啦，咁啊睇翻個題目啦，有一棵 leafy shoot 啦，擸住咗一個 U 型嘅 tube， 入面有啲水分嘅，跟住咧去到另一邊咧就有個油嘅一一個 layer 啦，咁啊成條題目究竟點樣去觀察到嗰個失水咧？我哋先睇咗個 mechanism 先，咁一開始咧就係透過嗰個植物嘅 evaporation， 啲水咧就蒸發咗啦，從而啦就產生咗一個蒸騰作用，而蒸騰作用就會產生蒸騰牽引力。就係、是、一個 upward movement of water molecules， 咁呢個就係吸水嘅情況啦。咁當啦一邊吸水嘅時候咧，就會導致到啦啲水繼續向上抽，向上抽，就會導致到呢個 oil layer 咧就會跌咗嘅。咁所以啦，成個 setup 咧，佢喺度量度緊嘅咧，其實係一個 water uptake 嚟嘅。咁啊個概念咧就好似我哋嗰個氣泡嘅蒸騰計咁樣樣。咁但係你話唔係喎，成個實驗呢，你講㗎嘛，兩常佢係量度緊嗰個蒸騰作用嘅速度㗎喎、哦。咁而家你話佢係測量緊個吸水速度，咁咪即係有少少怪怪喎、哦。咁我哋就要睇睇題目啦，因為題目就係講緊我哋有啲咩嘅假設喺背後，就令到我哋呢個實驗呢，雖然佢真係量度緊我哋嘅吸水，但係到頭來都可以幫我哋量度到個。失水呢，咁由於呢個 set up 呢，其實係非常之相似我哋嘅氣泡蒸騰計嘅，咁所以其實啦，呢、這、一個呢，都係考緊我哋對於氣泡蒸騰計嘅一個理解啦，尤其是佢 limitation 呢個限制嘅理解。第二啦，就係、是、個題目問我哋 assumption 啊嘛，假設啊嘛，咁所以第二個 concept 呢，其實就係要我哋去分辨返究竟乜嘢叫做 precaution 前設。一個咩叫做 assumption 假設啦？咁啊，其實呢個所謂嘅 precaution 呢，即係提早之前要預備嘅嘢啊嘛。就係、是、當我哋預備或者設計呢個實驗嘅時候呢，有啲咩嘢我哋係要注意嘅、啊、例如啦，有啲咩 set up 上面裝置嘅嘢呢，我哋係要去處理嘅。咁所以啦，我哋做一擊破啦。第一個 A 呢，就係、是、所有嘅接駁位呢，都已經係將佢密封咗㗎啦。呢、這個呢，係一個 precaution。佢唔係一個 assumption， 所以佢就錯咗啦。跟住啦，去到 D 咧，就係、是、啦，將我哋嗰個植物啊，你 cut 咗佢，其實佢冇咗條根噶嘛，係咪？就係、是、要咧喺個水下面嗰度去 cut 佢，就避免咧有啲氣泡咧進入咗個木質部嗰處。呢、這個都係錯，因為咧佢都係一個 precaution 嚟嘅。咁即係 A、D 咧就可以 say goodbye 啦。咁 B 同 C 咧，佢哋的確係 assumption 嚟嘅。咁但係啦。C 呢個 assumption 咧，佢就話假設咧，一塊葉入面嘅氣孔咧，佢哋全部都係 keep 住係開住嘅。呢、這個嘅假設咧，就較為咧唔夠實際啦。咁成個實驗而家你係去測量緊蒸騰作用嘅速度啊嘛。咁例如啦，你會擺一個好熱嘅地方、好曬嘅地方、好乾嘅地方或者好濕嘅地方。嗱，不過棵植物而家係一個非常之曬嘅地方，當個 water loss 太強勁嘅時候啦，咁佢有機會將個氣孔刪咗佢噶嘛。但系你嗰一刻又要繼續假設喎，哎呀唔係㗎，啲氣孔呢係 keep 住開住㗎。咁其實就係有違咗個原意囉。棵植物喺一個咁曬嘅地方，佢諗辦法刪咗個氣孔，就係諗辦法去減少失水嘛。但係你要假設佢 keep 住開嘅話呢，就變得較為不實際啦。所以呢 C 都係錯，咁答案呢就係 B 啦。就我哋假設吸水嘅速度係等同於失水嘅速度。喂，咁樣都可以去假設係一樣嘅咩？我哋就要睇一睇，其實成個 b o b o p o t o m e t e r 嘅一個 limitation 啦。咁喺實際情況底下呢，其實一棵植物嘅吸水呢，係高過呢棵植物嘅失水嘅。咁點解？因為棵植物自己都要用水㗎嘛 ，keep 住佢自己嘅植不甩啊，同埋要攞嚟做光合作用。咁所以啦。總係有一啲水呢，係吸咗喺棵植物之後呢，係保留住嘅。所以其實成個實驗嘅假設呢，就係假設咗喺棵植物入面所保留住嘅水分係不變，佢唔會儲多咗水，亦都唔會儲少咗水。佢吸咁多就係失咁多，咁所以啦，先會導致到呢我哋呢個結果。雖然成個實驗係量度緊吸水嘅速度，但係我點樣將佢化成一個？失水嘅速度，所以答案就係 B 啦。用多一個簡單嘅比喻咧，去解釋俾大家聽。例如啦，我想知道 Peter 一個人咧，佢每個月嘅消費係幾多？佢想使幾多錢？我真係唔知佢使幾多錢，但係啦，我知道咧，佢嘅收入係每個月一百蚊。咁如果我淨係揦住佢嗰個收入
當佢呢個收入就係佢嘅支出嘅話，其實真係唔實在噶嘛，係咪？所以我假設，我假設乜嘢呢？我假設 Peter 佢係一個唔儲錢嘅人嚟嘅。如果我假設佢一個唔儲錢嘅人，咁就啱啦。即係話佢本身賺咗一百蚊，但係佢又唔會儲到錢嘅喎。咁即係話其實佢使咗幾多啊？都係使咗一百蚊，所以到頭來咧就冇錢剩啦。So question seventeen and eighteen is talking about this setup. To measure the rate of transpiration of a leafy shoot, so for the whole setup, we see the leafy shoot, and then the shoot is connected to a U tube filled with water, and then on the other side there is a oil layer. So actually, the whole mechanism of the setup is talking about evaporation of water from the leaf surface, and actually that will be the transpiration. And the transpiration, it will need to the transpiration pool for the stem to draw the water. So that's why there will be an upward movement of water absorption transport, and then that's why by keep absorbing the water, the oil layer will drop. So that's how we can see the result. So actually, for the whole setup, is measuring the rate of water uptake. So the whole setup is just like the bubble photometer. But you may ask, Mr. Leung, you say that this setup is measuring the rate of transpiration, which is the water loss. So how can the setup measuring the rate of water uptake to tell us the rate of water loss? It doesn't make sense. So that's the issue. Question seventeen is asking the assumption behind the use of this setup for measuring the rate of water loss transpiration is which of the following options? So for this question, what we need to recall firstly is the limitation of the bubble photometer. Even this setup is not really a bubble photometer, but it's like it because we are observing the oil layer, but not the bubble. And the second concept is the difference between precaution and assumption. What is it precaution? It means that the procedure we have to be careful to design the setup before the experiment really starts. So that's why for the options A, B, C, D, let's take a look at option A. All the connection in the setup are sealed off. Actually, is not an assumption. It is a precaution because if the connection is not really sealed off, so there will be leakage of the water or the air. So that's why we have to deal with it before the experiment starts. It is a precaution. And the option D, the cutting of the shoot does not introduce any air bubbles into the silo vessel. It means that we need to cut the shoot under water. That's also not the assumption. It's also a precaution because that's how we can design the setup. How can we establish the setup? So that's why option A and D they are wrong. And then for options B and C, so let's take a look at option C. So we assume that the stomata of the leaf remain open throughout the experiment. This assumption is a bit unrealistic, because for the whole setup we know that we are measuring the rate of transpiration. So that means we may be going to study the effect of the environmental factor on the rate of transpiration. So what about we put the plant in a very dry environment, very sunny environment, or very hot environment, and if the plant is experiencing a high rate of water loss, so the plant actually it will close the stomata in order to reduce the water loss. So how can you still assume that the stomata they will be keep open throughout the whole experiment? It is not. Realistic at all, so that's why option C is also wrong. So that's why the final answer is B. The rate of the water uptake is equal to that of the water loss. So you may think that how can we do this assumption? How can we make the water uptake to be the water loss? So let's take a look at the basic concept of this part. So the basic concept is the rate of water uptake by the plant should be higher than that of the water loss. It's because the plant they will still use the water for themselves, keep it upright, or for the photosynthesis. Therefore, the water absorbed by the plant, some of them will be retained in the plant. So that's why, for the water absorption, it should be greater than the water loss. But how can we make the water uptake to become the water loss? So it's just like the income, expenditure, and the saving. 
So we just assume that the plant they do not save or retain more or less water. The amount of water retained in the plant remains unchanged. So that's why the amount of water uptaken is same as the amount of water lost. So that's why we can make the setup to measure the rate of transpiration for us. So for the metaphor, I try to talk about it once again. So for the metaphor, just like that, I would like to study uh, Peter's expenditure, the monthly expenditure. But of course, I don't have an idea at this moment. I just know that oh, Peter, the monthly income is $100. So how can I make the income to become the expenditure? So of course, I need some assumption. So every person, we have our own cash flow, income, expenditure, and saving. What about I assume that Peter, he does not save any money. So it means that how much does he earn will be how much does he spend. So that's why if I assume that no saving at all, zero dollar. So that means Peter earn $100 and then he will spend $100 as well. Make the income to be the expenditure. Make the intake to be the lost.